Hi everyone, so in this video we're talking about the landmarks for needle decompression. Uh, you can see uh, paramedic Sliz here is all buffed up. I really can't feel anything here because it's like a plate of iron. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Can you do both? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to start uh, at a landmark. So I'm going to start up here at the sternal latch and I'm looking for the angle of Louie. I'm going to come down the maneuverium here until I find the angle of Louie off to the side here, right here. And that's the first rib that I can appreciate down. That's the second rib. Come down here to the third rib. Take this line, come midclavicular. It's going to put me about right here over the top of that third rib for pleural decompression. Now, if I dart him, he should get better. If he doesn't, I can move uh, lateral just a bit. If we move medial, we really run the risk of bumping into the mammary artery that runs down through here. So as long as we're midclavicular off here, we can move a little bit lateral uh, and attempt the pleural decompression again if the first attempt doesn't work. Okay, so rather than going right and trying to find a rib that's hard to find, start with the landmark, work down, come across the second rib, drop down one, midclavicular. Okay, this has been a quick review on where to place the needle uh, for pleural decompression to fix the attention pneumothorax. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Let's see what that looks like. We were on. Unbelievable.